Hello, and welcome to the next chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help familiarize you and improve your skills with PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate. In today's short lesson, I'm going to show you how to repair a perspective distortion in a photograph. In a past tutorial, I taught you how to straighten an image using the Straighten tool. Many image editing applications have this tool, although PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate goes one step better in that it will, in one motion, also crop out the empty corners that result from straightening the image, but not the canvas. Well, PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate also goes a step further than other image editing tools and will fix perspective, barrel, fisheye, and pin cushion distortions. A perspective distortion usually occurs when photographing tall objects from below. This creates a photo that narrows as it rises. In many cases, you can live with this effect as it is generally understood how and why it happens and is most often acceptable. But what if you don't desire to see this distortion? Perhaps you don't want your building to appear to be falling backwards. Let me show you how to fix this. I first open an image that is a great candidate for a perspective distortion fix. I can access the perspective correction tool one of two ways. It's in the toolbar, but if you don't know where that is, use the very helpful and unique Learning Center. I'll show you both ways. In the toolbar, it's right underneath the Straighten tool. In the Learning Center, I simply go to Home, Adjust, Advanced Adjustments, Perspective Correction. In both cases, once the tool is selected, instructions on how to use it will automatically appear in our Learning Center. I'm now presented with a four-cornered box. Similar to the Straighten tool where I place the line along an axis that I want to become vertical or horizontal, I will place each of these corners so that it creates a box that I want to become square, such as the corners of this window. Now, if I'm having a difficult time finding a suitable area to set up, I can also add grid lines to the box in my context sensitive property bar up here. This will give me additional lines that I can use to compare in my photo, such as you see here. Now, all I have to do is click the green checkbox in the property bar. But before I do this, you will notice that I have the crop image box selected. I'm going to deselect it. I want to show you the undesirable result I get when I do this. This is what I'm talking about with the many apps that don't take the necessary edit into account. I would normally now need to use my cropping tool and attempt to crop out all the background without cutting into my photo. Good luck trying to get this right the first time. But you can also see how much this image was corrected. It's pretty amazing, don't you think? But if I undo this and now check the crop image box and the green check box again, I can make this repair and the crop in one precise motion. Now, wasn't that nice and easy? Thanks again, and we'll see you in our next chapter.